G'day Chris. Joel. Thanks for coming in. No stress at all. Come on through, we'll have a chat about your project. Thanks, okay, Alfred. The engineer of any building project is the linchpin to creating a structure that will hold the test of time. To put it simply, architects and draftsmen draw their pretty pictures and engineers are responsible for making it stand up. So in simple terms, we say how big the steel beams have got to be, how thick the concrete slab's got to be, how deep it's got to be, uh, where the columns and the posts go, all the essential things that make it stand up and create a structure. And it's this future timber, concrete and steel structure that, like any home, will come under decades of stress from Mother Nature. With the most severe and silent of these being the gradual yet ever-moving ground underneath it. What that tells us is that in a sandy site, which is a class S, which has got seasonal movement of about 20 mil, it tells us that the ground is going to move seasonally up and down 20 mil. So the most important thing with our foundations is to get that to move as one. If the whole building's moving together as 20 mil and it's all founded at the same depth and same material, then that's more likely. If all of a sudden you get differential movement, which is caused by abnormal moisture conditions or different movement in the ground at different locations, then we start to get twisting and settlement of the building, which causes distress and cracking. And essentially what you've designed up for us is a, a raft slab you were explaining to me uh, yes. before as well, where it, it, it almost floats like a boat the way you've designed the footing slab. Exactly right, and that's where the word raft comes from. It's a balanced design with a, a stiffened edge beam around the outside which gets stiffness to the overall perimeter of the building, uh, gets uniform settlement and helps that building move as one. So hence the word raft. It's a befitting analogy for the engineering of a home to be likened to a boat on a sea of ever-moving earth because it's this coastline with its corrosive salt air that will create other hurdles. The simplest solution for this is something shipbuilders have known for centuries. One of the better products in a coastal environment is some timber, some seasoned timber, uh, which goes back to the old naval ships of the 1800s where the timber actually performs better in that environment and seasons well over time. With also greater steel reinforcement needed for our concrete slab and also our walls that will be made from an innovative polystyrene building technique. Concrete has its own requirements in this env in environment, coastal environment. It needs greater cover to Rio and there's a few other things that you need to consider in the design just to protect the steel from rusting because it is a, a fairly aggressive environment. For more information about this series, please visit www.toppropertytv.com.au.